Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel and to the second episode of my leaf templating series. Let's have a look right away what we want to achieve today. Last time we have learned how to actually parse a variable inside our leaf template and today we want to learn how to loop through a list of variables or characters based on whether or not they are evil or not. Uh, print for example green or red colors and also have like an image and a nicer styling. Let's dive right into it and have a look what we have left of or where we have left off last time which is this little sad uh, string here and I don't want to save that page thanks that was my own fault uh, let's change and uh, let's change our welcome data to not pass in one single character but actually a character list which is an array of character right that's what we want to do and then we want to also adjust it over here to then pass in link we can actually introduce also Zelda now and uh, Zelda, of course, character. And then call her Zelda and pass in another variable. Right, let's go into our view and actually use the list instead of a single character. All we can do, all we have to do is say for character in character list, right? This is just a variable as you know in Swift that you can define whatever, whatever you want. And then curly brackets and inside here we can just say um yeah let's say hashtag or punch and say whatever is our cool variable name dot name well basically let's name it back to character which is more verbose like that and if we are running our app now which we have to do since we have changed code that has to be compiled, we can refresh the page and see link Zelda is rendered. Right, let's make this a list or basically a table. So in HTML we have table, uh, table. So we are opening and closing a table right there. And each table is having a table body. So opening and closing a table body. And a table body can have infinite amounts of table rows, right? So for each table row, we want to print the character. So let's say, uh, let's put our for each, or for loop actually, not for each, which is basically for each, but yeah, let's put it here. So for character, we are printing a table row, and inside the table row, how many columns do we want to have? Just one column. So we are defining just one table data and print it like that. Nothing much will change if we now refresh. We don't have to recompile, we just change uh, the view. It will just work like that. So we have a list now. It looks like a list. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to introduce new properties to our character struct. For example, an image URL. And also a boolean that tells us whether or not that character is actually evil. So what we can, what we can do now is say, let's say we are deleting uh, Zelda for now and introducing link with an image URL and false for him being evil. Now I'm making myself the life easier by in a second coping over all the code that I have pre-written so you don't have to like wait until I've write the boilerplate code and I've also prepared uh, image URLs that are accordingly to the character. You don't have to like type off all of that uh, you can just pause and write the character. So I have Link, I have Zelda, I have Ganon, right? Name, Ganondorf is evil, he is super evil. Uh, Midna and Dark Link, he's also super evil. I'm not sure who is more evil, and anyway. Um, and then we have welcome data and we pass in an array of all our variable variables. Once again, you can pause the video here and just uh, take your time and write off a, an array of characters you don't have to type off the URL here you can just like Google now for a random image and just put in the URL just make sure it is indeed an image because we will use that and it has to be a, a JPEG a PNG GIF whatsoever and I think it's called GIF right because it's graphic or is it GIF no it's GIF GIF Jeff my gosh anyway moving on so we have uh, a, a character list and now we can re-render uh, recompile and then refresh to re-render our template and then we have the whole list in here. Now let's introduce another column 
right inside our row, let's introduce in front of it another column in front of the name, which is holding an image with the source to the character image URL, URL, closing the image. We can also, let's just refresh it and see the images are indeed there and rendered. Let's have a width of 150 for each image so it's better visible. You can probably barely see a dark link due to my video or maybe you can see it. Uh, so there we go. We are all already getting closer to what we want to achieve today. So we already learned how to loop, how to uh, print character name and URLs and now we can learn how to actually, um, before we do that, before we learn how to um, print different colors based on, or actually apply different colors based on evil or not, let's introduce h1 and have the character name be a little bit larger. Actually, sorry, not h1, h2. You can only have, you should only have a one h1 uh, per page. Uh, so Google knows what is actually the title of the page. Anyway, uh, that's off track. That's not, um, that's very HTML specific. All right, so we have bigger fonts and now we can say okay table row right we have for each character we have a table row and so on we can say for each character we want to have a style of color red for example and refresh and all the characters are now red what we can do is we can say well only render that style if character is evil curly brackets inside there there we go only Gandalf and Darkling is evil and only they have red color. And then we can also say else color green. So everything that's not evil will have the color green. That's, I mean, that's that simple. Let's do one last step before we come to the end. And that's, uh, that is Googling for Bootstrap and go to the Get Bootstrap website. On the front page, scroll a little bit down to the Bootstrap CDN. That's basically, as you can see, a link tag with a link. If we copy the whole thing and pay, paste it into our head, we will have the whole uh, CSS framework available in our HTML and can use all the predefined classes of Bootstrap to style our HTML to a more nicer look. And I know them from a from the top of my head that we can, for example, apply or add to our table tag a class called table and table dark. Let's close Bootstrap here. And if we refresh now, our table is already dark. And then also we can say, let's have h1 here and say um, title, which is the variable that we also expose, right? If you remember, and then say class for the title or for the h1 would be text center. And then we refresh and then we have the legend of Zelda. We have the table, we have the list. And if, if we now compare what we wanted to achieve today, it's basically the same, almost completely the same. Um, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we, we are going to learn how to separate uh, single components into single leaf templates so we can reuse them. And then afterwards, we will also cover how to write an own leaf tag to then, for example, print only for the hero, the parentheses hero. So basically our leaf tag, which this one is a leaf tag, right? A hashtag four is a leaf tag. Uh, we, our leaf tag will basically determine whether or not the character that we are passing in is a hero or not. And if so, it will append a parentheses hero to its name before it renders it in the leaf file. If that episode here was super helpful for you, hit like to help me out. And also if you have feedback or upcoming topics you want me to discuss or explain, leave a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to check out the description box, super valuable. You can either go to Patreon, support me doing YouTube full time and download every source code of every video I do, or check out my social media, comment over on Instagram, let's have a chat. But as always, we can always have a chat down here in the comment sections as well. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on future episodes and other series, sis, series, and also not to miss out on my streams that I now do. I do streams about my current side projects that I'm working on and we just have a casual chat. You can work on your side project. I'm working on mine. We listen to some music. We're just like chatting and having a cool evening together. Anyway, I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.